Why trucks? I like trucks. Driving around a 65, 66 year old truck is just an experience itself. People ask, why do you drive this? I enjoy it. I don't need the AC, I don't need the quietness of a vehicle. I just want something I can jump in, looks good, cruises down the road nice, drive anywhere. many four-year-olds that could point out cars on the freeway and tell you what year and what make and what model. Andy didn't get comic books, he got Auto Trader. When it came time for me to start looking for a vehicle, this popped up. It's like, wow, this thing is pretty affordable. So we wound up going and looking at it, and he knew he wanted it. We took it for a drive. After we left, he's kind of like, eh, we, maybe we should look for something else. And of course, my head said, no, I, that truck is it. And then, well, I guess fate happened. <laughs> Waking up Christmas morning to finding clues. I bought the truck and we stored it at a friend's house. And a lot of people involved in that. I parked it behind the shop. Come around the corner and <laughs> eyes light up and you just don't know how to react because it's, I'm getting teary at <laughs> because there's your first vehicle, a cool red pickup truck sitting out back that's, it's gonna be yours. You know, his dad's a machinist, his grandpa was a machinist. He kind of just had a thing for tools. I guess the, that's when the modifications started. You see the cars there are out and they're still, a little bit off the ground and it's like see a picture of a couple trucks and they're just flat on the ground and it's, that's my goal. So start cutting up what I need to cut up, modify what I need to modify to get that truck laying flat on the ground. Andy was just a natural mechanic. I think basically what spurred him rebuilding that truck was I went out and bought a lift for our garage, and he put that truck on that lift, and it was there for a year. I didn't even get to use it. And I remember, you know, being out there, and you know, I was all ready to help him. He wanted to do it himself. But he would, all of it. He would step it in front of me if it looked like I was gonna do something, and you know, because he wanted to do it. Of course, with learning, you, you gotta start by making mistakes. We had a 49 Ford at work. Well, the quarter panels were left, kind of roughed them in with the body line of the pickup, and wow, those would look neat. <laughs> so, pulled the fenders off the truck and just started going for it. And working in my garage, not having any, a lot of the tools I have at work, and not knowing how to use a lot of the tools at work still. Yeah, there was some Bondo put into that truck. <laughs> My fabrication abilities from where I started to now is, I guess you could say, night and day. I feel very fortunate because I came in starting cleaning and then Craig at Wicked Fabrication giving me the opportunities to build my abilities. I don't want to build junk. I want to build something that's top notch. Took my time to build this. Be proud of it. To me, it's a story, it's, and I'm just continuing the story on with this pickup. Working on cars is a disease. It's a disease, you can't stop. It's a good disease to have. Just don't worry, just be happy. Love, peace, and harmony. It's really simple, actually. Just don't.